The next generation of budget gaming has just become stronger and more affordable with the announcement of NVIDIA's RTX 4060 Ti and RTX 4060 graphics cards. But what about the performance upgrade and does it actually value more than its predecessor, the RTX 3060 Ti? Let's find out. Looking for an animation studio that can turn your story or idea into animated visuals? Look no further than 10 Studio. Our team of experts creates animated explainer videos that simplify complex ideas and bring your message to life. Our experience can help you tell your story in a way that engages your target audience and makes them remember it. Don't miss out on this opportunity to stand out from your competition. Visit our website to know more at www.10.studio. Before we go any deeper, keep in mind that NVIDIA has released two separate variants of the RTX 4060 Ti GPU. One includes 16GB of VRAM, and the other one features 8GB of VRAM. Apart from that, both these variants have more or less the same internal specifications. With 4352 cut a course and boosted clock speed of 2.54GHz, both these variants features up to 32 ray tracing cores. The new 4060 Ti also comes with 32 megabytes of L2 cache, along with 128 bit of bus speed and a total of 165 watts of graphics power. As for the price, both 16 gigabyte and 8 gigabyte variants start at $499 to $399, respectively. Although the RTX 3060 Ti doesn't have a separate 16 gigabyte variant, it does include the 8GB version, which will be our main focus. Now, if we look carefully, the 3060 Ti does have more 4864 cut of cores, but a less boosted clock speed of 1.67GHz. At this point, you might be wondering if having fewer cut of cores will further affect your gameplay experience. To clarify this, NVIDIA added more L2 cache on the RTX 4060 Ti. And according to them, it reduces the demand for the higher VRAM interface, providing swift performance and power efficiency. As a result, the power requirement for the 4060 Ti is also pretty low, which is 160 watts for the 8 gigabyte and 165 watts for the 16 gigabyte variant. On the other hand, the RTX 4060 Ti comes with 32 RT cores and 128 tensor cores. In comparison, the 3060 Ti includes 38 RT cores, and 152 tensor cores, and the numbers are pretty high compared to the current model. But there is a generation gap that over time helped to improve the performance. Another big advantage of this 40 series card is of course the DLSS3 and the frame generation technology, which is indeed a great reason to look forward to this card. For performance, it is hard to get into right away since the card has not been officially released yet. But what NVIDIA has shown us so far, the RTX 4060 Ti seems like great 1080p gaming graphics with pretty solid performance. As we can see, on high settings, it crosses over 200 plus FPS on Microsoft Flight Simulator with DLSS 3 and frame generation turned on. And even though this is a perfect 1080p card, it is also capable of 1440p gaming as well. In the end, just as we mentioned before, if you're interested in getting a solid 1080p gaming graphics card in 2023, then it is definitely worth purchasing. Otherwise, it would be a wise option to go for a higher model of the RTX 40 series cards, spending a little more extra cash. So that was all about the RTX 4060 Ti versus RTX 3060 Ti debate. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and comment below to let us know your thoughts. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.